Once treatment is over, we cancer survivors cope with life in different ways. Some of us may live with cancer as a chronic disease requiring periodic treatments, while others may be cured or go into long-term remission. Many will lead normal lives with few side effects. All of us experience a new normal that settles in after treatment is finished. Some people say we're never done with treatment, that we're always going to be under a microscope once we have cancer. So uh, understanding that there's not an ending, but how to uh, start the new normal in life. How do we incorporate what we've survived into our daily uh, routines and our li lives? I was happy that it was over yeah. because, you know, when you watch TV and you see cancer is always like the disease of the week, where they'll have some actor and they'll just make them look all sullen and sallow and, and you know, shave their head or whatever. And I think it's funny because at the end of the day, they can take off their, their fake bald cap and go home and they're back to their normal life. But when you're a cancer survivor, you're in that treatment bubble. And, but then when you're all done, the doctors figure, well, you're done with treatment now, but you're not done with cancer. Well, I, I think for each and every one of us, um, having cancer is a very different um, experience. And then what becomes normal has to do with what happened before and what the person who has had cancer and the family want to aspire to. Just feeling normal, like they say the new normal, because cancer basically, chemo changes everything. It doesn't just kill the bad cells, it kills all the good cells too. Well, you look great and you know, we're glad you're back to normal. It's like, but I'm not back to normal. I wasn't able to do what I did right away because when you're done with treatment, you're, there's still fatigue, there's still side effects. Um, they, I have what they call chemo brain, which is um, if I look at a pen, I'll know it's a pen, but I can't verbalize it, which is very frustrating. And to be around people who don't know what that is, it kind of makes you feel stupid. Just as the effects of cancer are different for everyone, so is the cancer recovery process. What do they want to do with the rest of their lives in terms of job, in terms of family, in terms of um, outside activities, and what, what's possible given perhaps some limitations or um, ways of taking care of themselves. So for some people, for example, um, eating healthier, or exercising in a different way, or changing maybe some of the stress that was going on in, in, in their jobs may be the new normal. And so that may be very good. I always tell somebody to find your bliss when you're doing, when you're going through treatment and even beyond if it's knitting or minus playing hockey and, and working out or you know hanging out with friends. If you wanna watch happy movies or you know just find something that makes you happy. I mean, I can't tell you what that is, but you know, find that one thing or, or that person that you want to be with, whether it's, you know, your caregiver or just a good friend where you can go out and laugh or just go out for coffee and have a good time. Just something that makes you happy. Survivorship can be a really a wonderful point in life where one thinks about the past, the present, and the future and tries to reorganize, change. You know, you may never feel as you did before. You may never be able to do the things that you did before, but you are here. You are alive. Very good working relationship with a physician who you trust, who can provide uh, good information, solid information, and help guide one uh, through 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 survivorship and um, and um, and beyond. Undoubtedly, cancer can change our perspectives, our priorities, even our view of the world. But there's plenty of living good living after diagnosis and treatment.